Hi. In the course of my research for my digital publication, Applied Metabolics, I occasionally come across new substances or substances I'm not familiar with. Uh, when I read about them, I am actually get fairly excited about some of the possibilities of how they could be of use to myself and other people. And yet, this stuff is very esoteric. I, you never hear about this stuff. And one such compound that I recently came across that's in that category is a type of brown algae or seaweed called Eclonia cava. Uh, I'd never heard of it. It's uh, apparently some sort of seaweed that grows in the warm waters of the Pacific Ocean. Uh, it's been used in Asia for years to treat a number of uh, ailments. Uh, you know, it, it, um, it is rich in vitamins, minerals, protein, fiber. Uh, and like I said, in traditional medicine, it's been used to treat goiters, hemorrhoids, urinary diseases, constipation, and stomach ailments. And it does contain minerals like iodine, calcium, and other nutrients. Uh, they've, they've actually given it as a supplement for women who are breastfeeding. Uh, but the problem with, uh, uh, I just want to say right from the start, the, when you consider Eclonia cava, and they do sell it in supplement form, uh, the one thing that bothers me about this stuff is that almost everything uh, that they've uh, written about it in science journals or in studies has involved animals or test tube studies. Now, this doesn't mean that it has no use for human physiology. It's just that there's not a lot of proof. But let me put it this way. If it turns out that this stuff works in humans as it does in animals, it could be very exciting. Uh, in a, one of the uh, main compounds in Eclonia is this stuff called fluorotannins, which present, they possess antioxidant, anti-cancer. They help prevent diabetes. Uh, one study showed that uh, this particular, uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, fluorotannins found in Eclonia has extremely high antioxidant properties uh, that are actually greater than vitamin C. Uh, they've also, in, in vitro test tube studies, shown that the, uh, these fluorotannins can prevent DNA damage, which would help to prevent uh, mutations uh, that lead to cancer and also help to slow the aging process. Um, it also seems to help improve circulation. Uh, a mouse study that lasted for a month showed that mice that had o obesity and high blood pressure, it, uh, giving them a clonia, uh, improved blood circulation, lowered blood pressure, and it lowered uh, some blood lipids, including cholesterol. A test tube study found that it helped uh, alleviate artery and vein dysfunction related to poor circulation. Uh, it also seems to help reduce inflammation. Systemic inflammation is a cornerstone of many, many diseases. Uh, it plays a huge part in the aging process and also in the loss of muscle with age called sarcopenia. Uh, uh, an upcoming article in my Applied Metabolics, I'm going to fully discuss everything known about inf uh, in inflammation related to aging and loss of muscle and how to prevent it. Uh, this particular condition is called inf inflammaging, meaning inflammation associated with aging. Well, Eclonia might help reduce inflammation. Again, I use the word might because uh, it's all basically test tube and animal studies. Uh, for, uh, the, one of the compounds actually inhibits nitric oxide. Now, you know, m normally you want to raise nitric oxide because it dilates the blood vessels, gives you a better pump, does a lot of different things. But unfortunately, an excess amount of nitric oxide increases the production of what they call inflammatory cytokines, which are immune proteins that are known to be the cause of systemic inflammation. These inflammatory cytokines tend to increase with age. Uh, the, the, um, as I said, inflammation is related to various diseases, asthma, arthritis, cancer, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. But the thing that really caught my eye about Eclonia cava was its effect on body fat. Uh, the, uh, they found that, again, mouse, um, uh, a study where they gave Eclonia to obese mice showed that the extract decreased stress and inflammation and modulated the function of brown adipose tissue, or BAT. BAT, or brown adipose tissue, is thermogenic tissue. It converts calories into heat. And the more brown fat you have on your body, the greater the dissipation of calories, even doing nothing. And uh, again, it's kind of an open topic. 
There are some studies indicating that the effect of bat in humans is greatly exaggerated. That's an open question. They know that uh, animals that have increased brown adipose tissue are leaner and they tend to not get fat. Uh, uh, so, you know, I, I'm reading here directly from uh, from a study uh, where they gave 12 weeks uh, of a supplement extract from the colonia. They gave it to 97 overweight adults who were either given a high-dose extract, which is 144 milligrams, or a low-dose extract, which was 72 milligrams, or a placebo. Both the low- and high-dose groups sh showed significant decreases in body mass index, body fat ratio, waist circumference, and waist hip ratio. This was in addition to improvements in total cholesterol, low-density lipoprotein, and cholesterol, high-density lipoprotein. And that was a human study. So there, is, there are indications that, um, that it, it might help uh, with body, uh, reduce body fat. It also uh, seems to prevent the um, differentiation of uh, pre-adipocytes. In other words, it prevents uh, the uh, conversion of, uh, let's say, immature fat cells into mature fat cells, which would, again, go a long way towards uh, you know, helping to control body fat levels. <clears throat> Another interesting thing about a colonia is its effect on carbohydrates or blood glucose levels. <clears throat> they found that the absorption of carbohydrates from the gut is reduced uh, because uh, a colonia inhibits two primary carbohydrate uh, uh, enzymes that help you uh, absorb carbohydrates. In fact, the effect was stronger than a drug given for the same purpose called acrobose. And acrobose, some studies show, increases longevity because it helps you uh, control your uh, blood glucose levels. Uh, uh, they think that uh, Eclonia <coughs> also increases something called AMPK, which is a, a natural uh, protein or enzyme in the body that uh, increases fat metabolism. Uh, and it's also uh, associated with increased longevity. Uh, mouse studies and test tube studies show that Eclonia <coughs> can help prevent cancer. Uh, uh, the, uh, the floor, there's a fluorotannin uh, in uh, Eclonia that suppressed the spread of breast cancer cells and it, and it regulated the expression of genes related to the recovery of secondary cancer growth. Uh, human can, they've tested on uh, in test tubes or isolated studies on human lung cancer cells showed the same thing, meaning that it inhibited the growth of tumors. Uh, they've also shown that uh, it, when they expose colon cancer cells to uh, eclonia, it, it, it blocked the uh, growth of colon cancer cells. Uh, so uh, what else? Uh, I, I think that's about it, really, for the eclonia. Uh, the, you know, the dosage of up to uh, 144 milligrams a day are safe. They have no side effects. Uh, they, they, it is sold in supplement form. Uh, some of the names are alginol and cyanol. Uh, you don't want to uh, you don't want to exceed uh, 400 milligrams per serving. Uh, so it's something that that's interesting. I mean, again, I, I hesitated to even make this video because of the fact that nearly all the studies have involved uh, uh, animal studies or isolated or in vitro cell studies. Uh, there's not much human research, but the, the systems, let's say, that are affected by a clonia, especially related to glucose control and body fat control, exist in the human body. Uh, so there's a, there's a uh, great chance that this stuff will actually provide benefits. Based on the research I've seen on this stuff, uh, a clonia, uh, although the way it also seems to grow, help you grow hair, which some people are, you know, care about. It's very good for your skin. It reduces skin inflammation. Uh, but based on the information I've seen thus far on Eclonia, uh, it's very impressive, the, these animal and test tube studies. Uh, it, it seems to have really potent effects in the areas I discussed. I, I just sent for a, uh, a supplement of Eclonia. I'm going to supplement it myself. I'm going to give it about two months to see if I notice any difference in blood glucose levels. I don't expect a huge difference in body fat, but I'm mainly taking it because uh, that really intrigued me, the fact that it's comparable to a drug called acrobose, 
which is prescribed by physicians to control elevated blood glucose levels, which I have a little bit of a problem with because I'm pre-diabetic. I tend to have higher resting blood glucose levels. So anything that'll help control that, I'm going to give it a shot. And the fact that this stuff is safe is also very interesting. So that's about it for Eclonia. Again, one of those kind of off-the-road stuff that you don't hear about that could offer human benefits. If you want more information on nutrition, exercise science, ergogenic aids, anti-aging research you can use today, uh, women's health and fitness, hormonal therapy, uh, effective fat loss techniques, all of this is included in my Applied Metabolics digital publication, www.appliedmetabolics.com. When you subscribe, send me an email and I'll send you an invitation to join my private Applied Metabolics Facebook page where each day I post new information on nutrition, exercise science, gen and general health and medicine. Uh, Applied Metabolics is also based on my over 60 years of study and, and actual experience which is not really comparable to what anyone else can boast of. I mean, you could go through uh, colleges and universities and get 10 PhDs, and you will still not know a lot of the stuff I've learned over the years because this is stuff that you have to learn on your own through experience, and this is what I incorporate in my applied metabolics, although it is also very heavy on evidence-based scientific information. Uh, and it's not just my opinion or anything like that. It's written in plain English. Anybody who's who, who's uh, literate uh, can, will be able to fully understand that any technical terms that I have to present, I fully explain so you don't have to reach for a medical dictionary, unlike a lot of other digital uh, publications which read like medical journals. My uh, Applied Metabolics is written in magazine style for the where in other words where the average person could uh, of average intelligence could easily understand it but I'll go so far as to say that anybody no matter what their level of edu education will learn something from reading applied metabolics because it covers a lot of off the road uh, information that you won't find commonly on the internet blogs or in articles uh, a lot of it's just not not really covered in other uh, areas or other publications or other uh, sources of, of information. Uh, it's essential information. I wish I had applied metabolics when I was involved as a competitive bodybuilder back in the 70s. It would have saved me a lot of headaches. A lot, it would have saved me from making a lot of mistakes. But I'm offering it to you today. It's not expensive. It costs as much as a, a you know cup of latte or espresso, whatever it is. Uh, and uh, you know it's, it comes out on the first of every month. It's 30 to 50 pages, solid information. Again, it's written in a kind of a uh, entertaining style. I include en uh, anecdotes about my the days of gold, the gold, my, my experiences in the golden age of bodybuilding, as they call it, training with people like Arnold Schwarzenegger and other famous figures of that era. All of that is in Applied Metabolics. So subscribe today, www.appliedmetabolics.com. Uh, when you subscribe again, I'll send you an invitation. You can join my private Applied Metabolics Facebook page. Uh, and also I have an email portal on my Applied Metabolics webpage where current subscribers only can send me short questions about anything they might have read in Applied Metabolics or anything that comes to mind related to nutrition exercise. And I will answer that as an appreciation of your subscription. Uh, this only applies to current subscribers. Uh, for the rest of you, uh, if you... Uh, you feel free to leave uh, comments uh, where you possibly uh, propose topics for future videos. If I feel that the topic interests uh, a larger number of people, I will be happy to do a video about it. And uh, my videos come out every Tuesday each week. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing today. It's free, doesn't cost anything. And I believe if you subscribe, that you'll get an email from uh, YouTube or Google or I don't know who sends it, but they tell you when each new video came, comes out. But just for your information, a new video is posted every Tuesday of every week. So subscribe to my videos, subscribe to my Applied Metabolics, and you'll be free of all the BS and garbage that inundates you from the internet and from other YouTube videos that confuses you where you don't know what the hell, where you, you don't know whether left is right or right is left. This will this'll, this'll, uh, 
this will get this will give you the right direction let me put it that way so thank you for listening take care and uh if you want to have the best friend you'll ever have go adopt a dog 